That's moving on to Nico's pick. <laughs> yeah, for our final film this week, boys, we're going to be talking about Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy is not a very good film, you know? It's it's a, it's a okay enough film. It, it's not too good. Uh, you know, it, it follows the story of Star-Lord, okay? Our boy Peter Quill. Now, he's traveling the galaxy uh, just like as a little bounty hunter or whatever the fuck. He's finding shit, he's selling shit. That's what he does. But then he also meets some other guys who are trying to get his bounty on his head. Uh, people like Rocket Raccoon, Groot, um, Gamora? And then they all get sent to jail because they're just some tussling little fellers. And while they're in jail, they meet Drax. Now, Drax is a cool guy. He's played by David Batista. And with uh, along with Drax, they're able to escape from prison and go and try and sell their little stone that they got. But, uh-oh! There's, like, a big warlord in a town, and he wants to take that stone for himself because he knows that it holds an infinity stone in it. Infinity stones are crazy. They can do crazy shit. And he's able to get a hold of that infinity stone, but with this ragtag group of misfits, they're able to come together and put the beat down on him and dance away his fears and kill him. Brutally. And that's how, this, that's how the movie ends. It's pretty good, guys. I actually like this movie. I lied at the beginning. This is a good movie. I hope so. I really like this movie. Yeah, this one's just a fun sci-fi romp. Dare I say, this is perhaps the greatest sci-fi film ever made. No. I, I hope you wouldn't dare say that. I dare you guys right now to name a better sci-fi film than this. Mars Attacks. This is going into <laughs> F- minus for me. <laughs> I'm sure if we pulled up a list, we have a sci-fi movie up there. I'm pretty sure the thing was pretty up there. That's not really sci-fi. That's totally ah. sci-fi. Ah. Sci-fi horror. Anyway, uh, yeah, I mean... I've always loved Guardians of the Galaxy ever since it came out. I thought the the character... Per, uh, yeah, well, I loved it before it came out. Yeah, I actually cool love the original comics, Dylan. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and uh, I, I just like all the, the personalities, like, the varying personalities between the group. Um, I like the pro plot progression. I felt like the movie was paced fairly well. Uh, the CGI was serviceable for its time. Uh, Not even for its time, Dylan. I think it still looks good. Yeah, this is a really good-looking movie with the CG. There's, like, a few parts that are weird, but it looked really fucking good. Yeah, I'm not saying it looks bad now. I'm just saying, like, for its time, like, when it was made. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I want to see some other, like, 2014 movies, because I feel like animation looked like shit back in 2014, and this looked like a modern yeah. movie. Yeah. There was a lot of references in this movie that I appreciate. Uh, the only one that comes to mind immediately is uh, at the end when they're fighting the Dark uh, dark Avatar, or whatever it's called. They do a little Independence Day thing. I thought that was pretty 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 cool uh, but yeah i just i like how a lot of the characters aren't like super overpowered they all have their niches and they all have their specialties but in the end they can work together as a team and overcome challenges so i, I don't know i just think this movie's super cool now i will say one big pro for this movie that will definitely not reign true for a lot of the other marvel films is that this film definitely works very well like in a vacuum even if you're not like exposed to all the other marvel bullshit you can definitely still like sit down and enjoy this film for what it is yeah, for sure. I think that's the only reason I like this film and why I dislike <laughs> oh. a lot of other Marvel films is because I'm not into the series, so I don't have any investment in these characters or anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm sure I would have liked, you know, Infinity War and Endgame and all that shit a lot more if I watched anything else, but I went into them blind and I felt like there was fucking ass because of that. But this movie yeah. I thought was pretty good. Uh, it still had the stupid Marvel big bad guy's gonna destroy the universe ending. Uh, and they beat the big bad guy that's going to destroy the universe. I don't really care for that type of villain in writing, but... To be fair, he was only trying to destroy one planet. Well, that was... I mean, some fucking crazy guy with the power to destroy planets is probably not going to just stop at that one thing, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually do think that the villain works really well, particularly in this film, as opposed to like a, a lot of the other Marvel properties, just because of how well he kind of juxtaposes our little group here. Uh, particularly, yeah. like, you know, our main character, Star-Lord, our boy. Uh, just because, like, you know, the, the, he's, like, an uber-serious bad guy. Like, even when they're introducing him, they're introducing him, like, the, the style of, like, fucking H.R. Geiger or some bullshit. Like, his scenes are, like, entirely different from any of this other shit that's going on. And, you know, just juxtaposing that to, like, these goofy guys who just, like, fucking dance at him, I think is really good. Oh, that's fair. I took it in a very different way. I just thought it was incredibly generic, which I guess okay. if that's what they were going for, yeah. then it worked. But I, I just thought it was incredibly generic, to be honest. I was like, I'm really fucking bored with this villain. <laughs> Question for you boys. Favorite character, go. Ooh. Goku. Star-Lord. Mm -hmm. Star-Lord. Right. Nah, Goku's a good answer. He's my favorite Guardian of the Galaxy <laughs> character, uh, too. This makes sense. 
Yeah, I like Star Lord. Oh, okay. That's honestly, I think I'll fuck. See, Drax makes me laugh the most. I don't know if that makes him my favorite character though. He also doesn't like really come into his own until the second movie. True. True. I think um hmm. I think I might like Rocket the most in this one then. Rocket is Yo, solid. Tanner! Same! I love Rocket. Uh, Just because he's the most. I feel like he's the most complex character, which is probably why the third one is like all about Oh, I yeah. love the third movie. Uh, I will say, I don't think. Star Lord's probably maybe my third favorite, but there's reasons that I think they failed with its character development over the trilogy of these movies that I was really disappointed with, but we'll get to that when we watch the other movies. Okay. Fair enough. I don't like how they addressed Groot's character throughout this trilogy, but I guess we'll get to that as well sometime. I think it was okay and interesting, but I guess I'll figure out what you mean by that later. I don't like that they just kind of glossed over his whole, like, child molester phase, but anyway. Uh, Tanner, real oh. quick here, how do you feel about the sort of trope of, like, a character who, like, doesn't actually, like, you know, speak anything that anyone else understands whatsoever, but one of the characters, they know exactly what they're saying? I mean, by the end of the movie, they all know what he's saying, though. I don't know if I have a strong opinion on that trope, no. to be honest. Like, I, I like you know, like to use a different example. I don't find like R two D two irritating. No. Yeah. So you should though. Oh. Or a Chewbacca as well, like your Chewbacca's. Yeah. The man who popularized this trope. I know Jack's yeah, not a big I fan, don't mind but. It. In terms of Jackson being a big fan of this movie, Jackson, tell us how hot you thought Gamora was. Huh. Uh, eh, I'm not into her. Fair enough. I was actually going to ask this question, too. <laughs> Jackson did say while we were watching this that he thought the Nebula was significantly more attractive than Gamora. I don't know not if even. I said significantly. I definitely think she's hotter than Gamora. I think when she doesn't have makeup on, I think the actress is a lot more hot, but, you know, not in this movie. Fair enough. And because of that, Dylan, you're going to be giving this film a D, correct? Uh, oh yeah, for sure. I'm going to I'm gonna D it so hard, I'm going to give it an S, I think. Is that what I gave it? Yeah, I'm going to give this movie an S. Fantastic. Tanner, how about you? I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. A+. Plus. No Pretty solid. Jackson? Uh, I gave this movie an A. An A. Pretty high regards for this film, it's sounding like. Yeah, I thought this film was fantastic. I'm fucking baffled that no one mentioned the score you pieces of shit you motherfuckers well, the fantastic score in this film it's so obvious you know who wanted to be the <laughs> one to bring it up right fuck you this is a really fun film i like it a lot really exciting very soulful as well i'm giving an a plus oh huh. okay what a highly rated film and actually puts it at an a plus unsurprisingly oh damn Whoa. 